Hey, what's up? So, today I'm going to bring you guys a priority slash tier list for Steady Ref. How to use it, who's the best to use it, all the other good stuff, you know. So anyway, let's get started. So, for those who don't really get what Steady Breath does, I'll just go over the quick explanation for it. Basically, when you're in an enemy phase, you'll get 4 defense when you're attacked, as well as minus 1 cooldown charge for every action that happens within the enemy phase. So, for example, if you were to be able to counterattack during your enemy phase, you'd get attacked, you'd get 2 cooldown charge, and then you'd counterattack, and it'll also give you 2 cooldown charge. So, if you had something like let's say Ignis and well instead of having two cooldown charge remaining it would already be ready so that means if you were to double them then you'd be able to get Ignis off immediately or if not you just have Ignis up and ready for you at the beginning of the next player phase which is pretty good also if a unit with steady breath is attacked by an enemy with guard the effects cancel out and the cooldown will go down normally without the penalty or the bonus so it'll still be like plus one instead of plus two and if you didn't know the only place where you can get steady breath is currently from brave ike who is a five star exclusive unit so it's going to be kind of hard to obtain also the only people who can inherit steady breath are melee infantry units as well as armored units. so with that out of the way let's go over the tier list I do have to note that although armored units can use it well, as well as other uh, melee infantry units that aren't on this list, they can use it well, they use it amazingly, but they're still not the best users of it or they want a different skill entirely. So say other armor units, they're the best with it, but they want this encounter more, so you're better off giving them this encounter instead unless, you know, you just want give to give that to them. So like. Like anybody who can inherit steady breath is good with steady breath, but this list is just gonna go over like uh, you know the top units who, do, who uses it the best and who wants it the most. So starting from the top, we have S tier, which is Black Knight, Young Tiki, Ike, and Faye. Your first priority unit more than likely should absolutely be Black Knight. Out of everyone here, he is definitely the best user of it out of like any unit other than like say brave ike himself this is what makes him one of the best armored units in the game and even one of the best units in general in the game because of a combination of this and his black luna skill which is for some reason only on a three turn cooldown so you can put on quick impulse you can put on wrath and then you can put on steady breath and then the only way you're going to kill him is if you just straight up one shot him because when he retaliates, he's going to retaliate with Black Luna, and very good chance that you're just going to outright die unless you one-shot him. And the best part is, he's free, so... Okay, next up we have Ike, and compared to Ryoma, Ryoma's already so good that he doesn't actually need the Steady Breath, and it doesn't help him as much as, say, Ike does. This is because Ryoma's already in more than a solid enough position in S plus tier as a sword unit that giving him fury is usually the better option. That said, with Ike, it puts him on the same level as Ryoma, even though they're already pretty close as far as how good they are. But it gives a little more power to Ike than it would Ryoma, which is why Ryoma's a little lower. But that said, they're both amazing users of it, so it's really up to you which one you want to use it for. Along with that is also all of the dragon units. Personally, I find Young Tiki and Faye to be the best users of it because of their naturally okay-ish speed, along with having like a very ha having a very balanced amount of bulk between their defense and res, on top of having pretty good HP. So like they stand out above the rest. They have the best overall spread when using Steady Breath compared to the other dragons, even though they're not that much better than the other dragons that. But yeah, that's basically S tier. S tier is like they ha they can do what the others below them can do, but they have a little something extra. It's usually not a lot extra, but that still makes them the best users of it. And speaking of A tier, we have the other three dragons that people use in general combat, which would be female Gorin, Noe, and Adult Tiki. Although all three of them have outstanding results with it, they each 
Although all three of them have very outstanding results with Steady Breath, they all have one weakness that really holds them back from being like the best users of it. For Corrin, you know, her speed's amazing, so she's gonna double just about anything like she gets near with a, uh, you know, quick repulse. So, so you can give her something like Bonfire and anything that attacks her, she's almost guaranteed to double it and get the Bonfire out, like, and this helps with her uh, weakness, which is her poor attack stat, if, as well as her kind of pretty poor res. It's not the best res, but it keeps her from getting one shot from like most mages, unless her her type disadvantage. That said, her speed makes her a very amazing unit in comparison to the other ones, but not by too much, since her attack power is still not quite enough to put her in like S tier. And then for Adult Tiki and Noe, like they have pretty great bulk in general, at least Noe does, but they lack the speed to not get doubled by certain units and some and some of these units that are so fast and so strong that unless they're using a completely different build like say Rioma versus Noe, like if she's not running like TK and Swordbreaker, like she doesn't beat him. In fact, she just outright loses. Which is why that weakness comes into play about her speed being incredibly poor. Adult Tiki also has the additional weakness of having pretty poor res for a dragon. That means e that means most mages that double her, even within her own type of end, still have a very good chance of just outright killing her anyway. And then we have Ryoma. Ryoma's Ryoma is already an amazing unit, like definitely one of the best sword units in the game easily. So adding Steady Breath to something like a plus P Ryoma definitely makes him even more of a monster. But he's only A tier in this list because he already has so much of an advantage with just Fury that Steady Breath doesn't give him too much more than what he already had. So while he's a great user of it, he's kind of not that great as far as uh, who you'd want to give it give your spare copies to first. Alright, so in B tier we have Lucas, Brave Lucina, and Nephany. Between the three of them, they have their they have their really good defense stat as well as something extra that comes with them. There isn't too much to go on about these, so I'll just point out their high points and why they're on. First we have Lucas, who has like easily the best defense in the game for an infantry unit. Being able to reach 40, 50, and even possibly 60 defense, there are almost no melee units in this game that can beat him except for dragons because they attack res instead of defense. Next is Brave Lucina who basically has the same thing but not quite and she's also a fairly fast unit. So where Lucas has the defense he doesn't quite have the speed, but Brave Lucina, on the other hand, does, along with being an amazing support unit, so that puts her up here as well. And then there's Nephany, and Nephany's a special case because it's just... Nephany's a special case. She has that advantage of having her base kit come with Wrath, and it synergizes very well with Steady Breath. So it's a lot easier to just give her Steady Breath instead of passing Wrath around to another unit. It really depends on what you want to do, but that gives her like a special spot here. Even though she's she's one of the best to use it with anyway, but I probably wouldn't say she's like better than say Lucas or Lucina. But details. And then lastly in C tier we have all of the villagers as well as Ninian. Ninian's down here because although she's one of the dragons with a uh, distant counter built into her weapon, she's not exactly an attacking unit. Like Whereas Korin also doesn't have that much of an attack stat, neither does Ninian, but Ninian also has the additional disadvantage of having a BST penalty due to being a dancer. So she has not much bulk at all, as well as not any speed or attack power, so she's just kind of there. She can take on a few things, but it's not as potent as other dragons. That said, she's still an amazing unit to use it with. It's not amazing, but it's something and it still stands out above the other the other melee units that aren't on this list. And then she's also a dancer, so... And then there's both Grey and Donald. 
They have the advantage of having an amazing attack and defense stat, as well as a really good HP stat to go with it. So they're very tanky, as well, especially due to them having the um, the trainee BST. So they have a lot of bulk, pretty okay-ish speed. So they have that going for them. Although they have one weakness, and that is like they lack res. They don't really want this encounter anyway, which is why they're on this list instead of like another unit. And then there's Tobin. Tobin's a little Tobin's a little weird because although he has a villager BST, he's a little bit on the slow side, but he's got good defense and good res, so he can kind of sort of want to use distant counter, but maybe not. It really depends on what you want to do with him. He has a more than enough outstanding bulk to be on this list, uh, on top of being a villager. So I just didn't want to leave him out, even though he's not exactly the best. Yeah, I, 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 I really don't care for Tolan. He's all right, I guess, but like he, like he's definitely a, a, a fine unit for steady breath. Definitely one of one of the best, which is why he's on here. But he's the worst of the best, basically. If you feel me. Personally, your first spare steady breath should go to Black Knight because even though Ike or the other dragons or Ryoma can use it well. I feel like Black Knight is the one who uses it the best. And then after that, you can give it to Ike or your favorite dragon, whichever one you want to use. Like, it just depends on which dragon you use the most in arena or in general. And then after that, you know, you can pass it to Ike or Ryoma. They have a lower priority over the dragons because Ike comes with Heavy Blade, so if you have a good IV Ike, you might want to keep using Heavy Blade anyway, even though he's not the best Heavy Blade user around. It's just easier to do it that way. On Ryoma, like, even with a budget set, he's still beyond outstanding. So, like, Cookie Cutter builds like Fury Vantage, and he's just gonna do amazing. So like you don't have to do too much with him after that if you don't want to like Prioritize a unit with disencounter built into their weapon. You just want to use a general melee unit who can just Wall off all melee attacks in the game then you can give it to something like Nephany or Brave Lucina or Lucas or one of the villagers and if you just feel like giving steady breath to all your dragons and Ninian's the last one you haven't given it to you can give it to Ninian like it's pretty good on her too So that'll conclude this video if you like it. I tend to not speak much So my voice is kind of ass, but we'll work on it I guess if you do like this stuff Let me know and I'll try to make a little more like this even though it's not really like my strong suit But hey if you guys like it, I'll do it for you because you know why not? I have no reason not to so yeah, if you like this stuff, do the usual, like, comment, sub, all that good stuff. Come hang out with me in Discord, you know, that's where I am all the time. So like, if you have other questions, like, you know, just come to the Discord and ask it and me or one of the other regulars in the Discord will answer the question for you. Like, I'm pretty confident in most of their answers except for like one person. You'll, you'll know immediately who it is, but that said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, I'll see y'all around, I guess. Anyways, later. Yes, yes, yes,